Buddhism is a path of practice and spiritual development. It leads to insight into the true nature of reality. The path leads to understanding suffering and its end. Buddhism teaches that meditation and mindful living are the way. Buddhism originated in India with Siddhartha Gautama. He became known as the Buddha. The Buddha lived and taught in India. His teachings spread throughout Asia. Buddhism emphasizes personal and spiritual development. It focuses on understanding the nature of the mind. Buddhists strive to cultivate wisdom and compassion. They do this through meditation and ethical conduct. The goal in Buddhism is to achieve enlightenment. Enlightenment is also called Nirvana. It is a state of perfect peace and liberation from suffering. Siddhartha Gautama, who would later be known as the Buddha, was born into a royal family in ancient India. He lived a life of immense privilege and luxury, surrounded by the opulence of the palace. At the age of 29, he ventured outside the palace for the very first time. During his journey, he encountered the harsh realities of the world and saw the suffering of the people. He witnessed old age, sickness and death, which deeply troubled and disturbed him. Siddhartha realized that suffering was an inevitable part of human life. Determined to find answers, Siddhartha renounced his life of luxury and wealth. He sought out wise teachers and practiced various forms of meditation and asceticism. After six years of intense searching and meditation, he finally attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. From that moment on, he became known as the Buddha, the Awakened One. The Buddha dedicated the rest of his life to teaching others the path to enlightenment. He shared his profound insights into the nature of suffering and the path to its cessation. His teachings, known as the Dharma, form the foundation of Buddhism and continue to guide millions. The Four Noble Truths are the foundation of Buddhist teachings. They provide a comprehensive framework for understanding the nature of our existence and the path to spiritual liberation. They are the truth of suffering, the truth of the cause of suffering, the truth of the end of suffering, and the truth of the path to the end of suffering. These truths are interrelated and build upon each other to guide us towards enlightenment. The first noble truth is that suffering exists. It acknowledges that life in its various forms is filled with suffering. Life is filled with suffering from birth to death. This suffering can be physical, emotional, or psychological. We experience physical and emotional pain. This pain is an inevitable part of the human condition. The second noble truth is that suffering has a cause. It delves into the reasons behind our suffering. The cause of suffering is attachment and craving. Our desires and attachments bind us to a cycle of suffering. We crave pleasure, possessions, and even existence itself. These cravings lead to a never-ending cycle of dissatisfaction. The third noble truth is that suffering can end. It offers hope and a solution to the problem of suffering. By eliminating attachment and craving, we can achieve liberation from suffering. This state of liberation is attainable through dedicated practice and mindfulness. This liberation is called Nirvana. Nirvana represents the ultimate peace and freedom from the cycle of suffering. The fourth noble truth is the path to the end of suffering. It outlines the practical steps we can take to achieve this liberation. This path is known as the Noble Eightfold Path. It consists of right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right concentration. It is a way of life that leads to enlightenment. By following this path, we can transform our lives and attain true peace and happiness. Section 4, The Eightfold Path to Enlightenment. The Noble Eightfold Path is the Buddha's prescription for ending suffering. It is a journey that leads to the cessation of dukkha or suffering and the attainment of nirvana. It is a practical guide to ethical and mental development designed to transform our lives and lead us to enlightenment. The path consists of eight interconnected elements, right understanding, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right concentration. Each element supports and enhances the others. Right understanding is having a correct view of reality, seeing things as they truly are. Right thought means cultivating positive and wholesome thoughts free from ill will and harmful intentions. Right speech is speaking truthfully, kindly and helpfully, avoiding lies and harmful words. 
Right action is acting ethically and compassionately, refraining from actions that cause harm. Right livelihood is earning a living in a way that does not harm others. Choosing professions that promote well-being. Right effort is cultivating positive qualities and abandoning negative ones, striving to improve oneself. Right mindfulness is paying attention to the present moment without judgment, being fully aware of our thoughts and actions. Right concentration is developing focused attention through meditation, achieving a deep state of mental calm and clarity. Section 5, Theravada and Mahayana Buddhism, two main branches. Over time, Buddhism evolved into different schools and traditions. The two main branches are Theravada and Mahayana Buddhism. They share the same core teachings, but differ in emphasis and interpretation. Theravada Buddhism is considered the older tradition. It emphasizes individual practice and the attainment of enlightenment through personal effort. It focuses on the teachings of the Pali Canon. Mahayana Buddhism emerged later. It emphasizes compassion and the liberation of all beings. It teaches the ideal of the Bodhisattva. A Bodhisattva delays their own enlightenment to help others. Both Theravada and Mahayana Buddhism have their unique strengths and perspectives. They offer different approaches to the path of Buddhist practice. Section 6. The Relevance of Buddhism in the Modern World Buddhism remains relevant today. Its teachings offer insights into human suffering and its causes. Buddhist practices such as mindfulness and meditation are increasingly popular. Mindfulness helps reduce stress and anxiety. It improves mental well-being. Meditation cultivates inner peace and concentration. The Buddhist emphasis on compassion and non-violence resonates in today's world. Buddhist teachings promote peace, understanding and tolerance. Section 7. Conclusion. An invitation to explore further. Buddhism is a rich and complex tradition. This essay is just a brief introduction. It offers a glimpse into the world of Buddhist teachings and practices. Buddhism encourages us to explore these teachings further. Read books, attend workshops, or visit a Buddhist center. Find out more about this ancient wisdom tradition.